anything. Um, Already you see Cruncho at quite the percent deficit at 92%. Um, right now he's just struggling to get back onto stage against Jun. And I mean, quite the advantage so far at 112% for uh, for uh, Germ. Or CC. This is that's the edge guard yep. opportunity. Crunch did a great job of just like like when you're chasing somebody off stage and they have like a tether based recovery, you can just follow the dodge and just like keep back airing them. They have like really no get off me options in the air, especially character with like as minimal disjoint started up as Bly Byleth. Now, of course, uh, you know, uh, Byleth uh, gets some, some heat and whatnot, so uh, with Cruncher with a little bit of advantage, let's see if Germ can, you know, turn it around, show what this character is made of. Mm -hmm. Right now, just Cruncho um, is holding on to his stock really, really well. He's not overextending, great up throw into up air, trying to be really, really patient in his juggle, and he's going to get rewarded for it with another back air. Yeah, so far, I mean, Germ really, really, really needs to get this stock off because you don't want to be down two stocks oh early in the game. Oh my gosh. Oh Cruncho my gosh. had the right idea with the drift. He was going alongside him. He was following him almost perfectly. Um, but Germ was just able to do just a great job of um, of calling out his, I guess, maybe he adapted to the fact that Cruncho was waiting for him to air dodge first. And then that's why he committed to the upbeat preemptively. Um, and right now, like, Germ has brought the game all the way back in his favor. Even though up 92%, but still, that's it's not too far of a disadvantage right now. Mm -hmm. And down guns is such a huge tool when it comes to gimping tether recoveries. Uh, like you see, like Jung being stopped in his tracks a couple of times, um, but he's still able to get back each time. Even though it got slightly nerfed, it's still a helpful tool for Joker. Mm -hmm. Still going deep, my goodness. No fear in this man. Yeah, over committing. And I really love the use of the neutral beat from Jung, the forcing a low recovery from Cruncher. Still able to get it, but not able to get the stock yet. Oh, he's unfortunately Crunch disappearing. Cruncho is feeding for the stock right now. He really wants this. He knows he's got a decent lead right now, but it's just fading and fading to just about even at this point. Mm -hmm. Both of these players are just like dancing around each other's shields. Nobody really wants to overcommit right now. A great catch on the jump out of shield from Jim, but he's not going to find the stock quite yet. Ah, he was thinking that Cruncho was going to get a little bit antsy and try to air dodge back onto stage, and so he just tried to cover it with... Ooh. So, I mean, with a great start from Cruncho, but now just basically even, he really needs to take the stock to at least get some momentum back on his side. Yes, now he got the stock, but, you know, 135, that's still not too bad for German. There you go. <laughs> yeah, um, German is really adapting to the fact that Cruncho is jumping out of pressure, almost like out of shield every single time. You see him jump and then try to go for a falling aerial. Or on platforms, he goes for quite a bit of full hops. So just something uh, he has to be really mindful of. Oh, okay. Really good extension, a whole lot of damage. Cruncho was still able to hold on to a little bit of that momentum. He cannot allow Germ to make that comeback just like that last stock, because if not, he could probably win the game. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, uh, Germ was trying to... Ooh, almost getting the drag down into the da uh, down smash. Mm -hmm. It feels like both of these players are just like exchanging like one hit by one hit, and then they, they're constantly like switching oh. positions. Germ getting caught neutral get upping again and getting back here for it. And now they're going to be switching seats. It looks like uh, he, he's not going to be comfortable in the standing position uh, Germ is for the next game. So he's going to have a seat, <sighs> relax a little bit. I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, hey, uh, sometimes you need a, a different stance, a different blood flow. You know, it, it's different when you're playing standing versus when you're sitting. Because yeah. some people can feel like you're, you're too tense, you're, you're too relaxed, maybe you're, you're, you're too like held back with yourself, mm -hmm. but then when you stand, it's like, okay, there's, there's more going on, I could be able to do this. Yep. And I've never seen like the Byleth from Jim, so he's going to like switch to a character he's a lot more comfortable with, mm -hmm. the Toon Link he's been playing you know, for quite a while. Um, Especially with the nice buffs with this last path for Toon Link. That was Toon Link, correct? Mm -hmm. um, I think both Toon Link and Young Link mm -hmm. got some uh, quality of life patches, nothing too so, huge for some, them. Something for the children. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting option from Cruncher going through down throw into F tilt instead of like maybe some of the more traditional options. Uh, not sure what he was entirely anticipating there, but <gasps> he's getting so much off of these drag down up airs, though he slightly mistimed it and gave Jim enough time to shield. Now, this match is a lot closer than the first set for sure. This character switch is already working out pretty well for Jim. Um, I think he's just like not only more comfortable in his character choice, <gasps> he was so confident that he was going to just land on top of him. Cruncho taking like the little damage that he could and basically letting him get away with charging up smash with just a couple of hits of the uh, down gun. 
Oh this my is goodness. So bad. Neither one of them were able to take advantage of that state. I feel like Crunch is doing a great job of pressuring Jim on the corner. Jim really, really likes the neutral get up. Like, you just saw him get shocked for it. He lost a whole bunch of stocks last game that way. Uh, great out of shield option from Crunch. So that up B is not going to be particularly safe. Um, but right now, Crunch is still with that stock lead. Almost like last game, but not as easy. I love the fade back and just the way, like, completely throwing off Jim's timing. He's basically getting so much, like, really, really good extra credit right now. Oh. There we go. 34% on Germ, not too bad right now. Yeah, and like uh, definitely, like, nothing to scoff at when it comes to, like, low percent combos. Um, so, right now, Germ is going to be probably looking just to maybe get some bomb conversions, or yeah, maybe some boomerang conversions. Oh, right now he's just like doing a great job of keeping Cruncho out of his space. Just like that, all of that work that he put into like putting him away was like completely reset with like two aerials. And right now Cruncho really needs to take advantage of um, of this right now because if not, I mean, Germ could take this stock and the advantage. Oh my goodness, no Arsene. This could be trouble for uh, Cruncho. I don't think uh, Jim might have intended to throw the bomb at ledge. Maybe he was trying to have it like fall a little bit past it. Ah, I think. Wow. Oh! But didn't take advantage of that. Really good idea to go for the tether recovery there instead of an up B. Mm -hmm. um, of course, with both like uh, Young Link and uh, Toon Link, your head is so vulnerable. You can get down it, you can get back it. You're basically leaving yourself exposed. Wow, okay. So there we go. Across the stage, getting the stock. Mm -hmm. 125, though. Uh, Cruncher can easily bring this back if uh, Germ allows, though. Yeah, but right now he's doing a great job of calling out Cruncher's aggression. He's getting a little bit antsy on his approaches. You see him throwing out all of these back hits. He wants to get him off stage right now. Oh, my goodness. And right now, Germ has not touched Cruncher this entire... Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, reverse. Cruncher has not touched Germ this entire stock. What wow. amazing option coverage by hitting the bomb on a shield that effectively covers any like rollbacks or jump over punishes. Such just like just a great way to cover your back, quite literally. And so far unanswered, Germ is just all over control right now. All you have to do is just mm -hmm. one more hit, closing the stock, and we're going to a game three. So something I'm really not liking from Cruncho is the way that he is rolling in. So last game we saw a lot of jumps out of pressure. Yeah. Now he's rolling in from a lot of pressure at corner when he feels threatened. He's really, really confident. There we go. And there we go, game three between these two. What a what a great switch for Germ, able to uh, just turn it around. That was quite a different game yeah. from the game one for sure. <laughs> Yoshi. Hey, wait, I just realized, where's the tablets? Huh? The tablets for the uh, stage strike. Oh, there, not everyone uses them. Oh, okay, I was going to yeah. say, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, there's tablets there. Some people just like to, you know, shout the, the, over. The, the old fashioned way. Yeah. Stop the battle. Huh? Okay, so Jim is going to be sticking with Toon Link. Uh, oh, I feel like course. towards the end, he really, really caught on to like, a lot of Cruncho's defensive habits, and Cruncho needs to find a way to play this a lot more patiently. His advantage sheet is so good. I think he has really, really good corner pressure. Um, but but honestly, like Jim has done such a great job of keeping him out. Now, what do you think of his stage choice, too? Without any platforms, uh, you know, the all the, uh, it, the, the projectiles that Link has is, yeah. I guess not dealt with at this point because it's not being protected by any platforms. And you know what? I kind of respect the fact that even though Jim could have thrown out a defensive option in, in response to the, uh, the side beater, I like the fact that he didn't He didn't want to burn an air dodge. He didn't want to like burn one of his jumps because like he knows I'd rather take this percent than potentially lose a stock to Joku edge guarding me. I mean, I was talking about platforms. He doesn't even need them. I mean, he's really good at right now preventing... Oh my goodness. We're running Crunch to the Gallant State, but Crunch even to take advantage of taking the first stock for now. Yeah. At 100%, though, you know, Germ can make this comeback happen. But I'm curious if we're going to see, like, the same kind of momentum as we did last game, where as soon as Germ starts to even it up, he has, like, such a good read on the way that Crunch likes to play aggressively. Mm -hmm. um, Crunch throwing out those back airs. Germ has to be so careful about how he's just neutral get upping, um, because oh. not the first time he got punished for it. Yeah, Germ really looked to get this first stock, but not getting what he wants yet. 
Rocky is covering so many options at once. There isn't a whole lot that Crusher could do. Jim whipping the up B, gonna lose stage control for you, gonna lose the little momentum that he had. The up B, though, not sending the right direction. He had to face the other lane. That would have been the stock. Mm -hmm. And Jerm really does need to take this stock quickly at 64%. I mean, he's, he's getting closer and closer to Doom to be down two stocks. I like the little wait that he did. He was waiting for Cruncher to maybe drop his shield oh and jump out of it. Oh my, my gosh. goodness, now he is down two stocks. 163 for Cruncho. This is this is not looking so good. It's not off the realm of possibility though. There you go. You get the stock back. You can get the momentum back. You got 0% with one stock left still. This can happen. There's a possibility of this. Yeah. And not to shout out the good work that Cruncho has done, because he's definitely switched it up from game two for sure. He definitely learned his lesson from what happened in the last game. Wow. You know what? I really love the read on the air dodge or just for the general option coverage by doing boomerang into boomerang. Uh, got him really, really good percent. Nice spacing of his air as well. Cruncho is starting to jump into a lot of these attacks. Uh, he has Arsene out. The funny man is out. Um, that was a risky boomerang. Yeah, as I was saying, that Cruncho is losing that momentum. That 76%. Germ is uh, doing some work right now. Right now, he has to find a way to get back. Oh. I don't wow. know if that's the recovery option that he wanted. But good stuff to both players, but only one of them's gonna move on. Yeah. So shout outs for sure. He left himself. Oh my God! What? That was a nice. That was a nice <laughs> transition. No, you gotta always expect it. You always gotta. That's, that's the one move. But thank you all for tuning in. Where's the camera? There it is. <laughs> thank you all for tuning in to uh, Zeno 200. Papa Rick alongside with the Ragman. We're coming to you live from New York City, New York, in Chinatown at the third. Oh, who's that? Yo, Cash. Shout outs to you. Good stuff. Another sub. 23 months. That's almost two years now. Mm -hmm. Look at that.